Hi there, let's today see a very simple but a very useful topic that is App Initializer. What this will do basically, it will call an API before your application loads. So your application will wait until this API call is success. This is very useful in some scenarios. Basically your application needs that data to work properly before it loads, it renders in the browser. For me, I implemented this one in a project where the underlying .NET API was getting the data either from MySQL database or MySQL database. But to decide that, we need to get the flag from the database which is set by admin. So essentially, I need to make my application wait until I get that data and then I say my application to load in the browser. And once I have that flag, I will pass in all the underlying APIs and based on that, the API will connect to the MySQL database or MS SQL database. Let's directly go to the code base. Let's start with the app module. Here in the provider section, we have given the provider as app initializer the token. And then we have said that this is our use factory. This is the function I have defined there, which is basically using a service file. And then dependency is the service file itself and multi is true. So this is the function which has been called as uh, as the prov uh, app initializer. And inside this, it is just returning the promise uh, that's getting from this service file init function. So if we go to the init function now, we can see that we have a um, promise we have a promise here and inside that we're calling the api the initialized api which is basically giving us the currency and just resolving this one and also let me go to that file again and also as you can see we're setting a variable with the currency that's received from the database just a variable and in the API call, you can see this is the first API getting called in during initialization, which is giving the currency as pound. And then the next API, all the other API basically will be called after the application loads. If we refresh the page, we see the first API is the get API, it's been called that returns the currency pound, and the pound is passed with the next API call, which is for uh, getting the amount. So now let me make a delay to return the data in the first API call. I'll add a set timeout in the server side and a 5 second time delay would be enough. Let me restart the server. Refresh the page now we will see first API is getting called it's waiting for 5 seconds until the application is not loaded. So now it's done and the application loaded with that value. Now if we go to this um, app component, you will see the API call is there, the second API call to get the amount which is basically passing the currency that is we received from the app initialized service, that variable is set if you remember. And this is how we are passing this data, this variable, the currency. To make it more clear, let's comment out the provider section in our app module and let's refresh the browser. If you see, this is empty, it's not sending any currency in this API call. So this is because there is no app initializer API call and now we will have that one in plus. So this is the get one and it returns the pound, the currency format and then application loads. Now, uh, if you want to see how I have been implemented the loader, this is very simple. Let's go to index.html and in, inside this block, you know, whatever you give that will be removed uh, when the component will load. So I have just added a loader here that will be removed when the application loads and render the component. So this is the way we implement the app initializer. Hopefully this will be helpful for someone to integrate this kind of feature.